when, when I was quite young, I had dyslexia. And that sort of gave me this idea, I, you know, not, you know, a bit slower than everyone else. He was born with basically hardly any hearing. He had severe glue ear, so he, he would, his first years were as though he was underwater. So he could hear as though he was underwater, so his speech didn't develop. Uh, and then they, then they found out he had a severe speech and language disorder. And I can remember when he was about five being told that he'd probably never sit an exam, he'd probably have to go to a special school and not to expect much from him. I had no confidence in myself, so I had to find a way to push myself. And, you know, my mum, she helped me a lot through that. She found a school that would help me develop my weaknesses. When you've got a learning disorder, you feel like you're the bottom of the pack. And he learnt that he can have confidence and that he can grow and that he's, he can do all the things um, that everybody else can do. My father, he, he had a bad um, drink problem and I start to see the clash between the relationship of my mum and my dad. I just said to her, Mum, just, that is it, please divorce him. I'd left art college and I had to do a job that took me, it basically stifled my creative side because I had to earn a huge amount of money. So suddenly I grew away from the art and ended up doing something that I wouldn't necessarily want to do. So with Johnny, I just feel that I can be the support so that he can just keep persevering at the things that he loves and wants to do. She saw it before anyone else. Like I, I obviously had a connection with it and I really enjoyed it. He just fell in love with it. It was the thing that worked for him, that he could do really, really well, and that he loved doing and he could do with a passion. And from that point on, he just never stopped playing the drums and being creative with music. She made a, a big impact, you know, paying for the lessons, getting me the drum kit. If it's say, for instance, if she wasn't there, I mean, I would have a completely different life right now. And I can imagine what it'd be. Uh, but music wouldn't have happened, I'm quite sure. I want to thank my mom because she's believed in me. She's understood me. She's just been the most incredible person and, you know, giving up for what she wants to do, to do, make me do what I want to do. It's just, you know, I can't describe words, it's just incredible. It's lovely to hear that, for him to articulate it and, and say those things. It was just so wonderful to see him find something that he was so good at and that he loved so much. And being lucky as a mum, really, really lucky as a mum.